In this video, I'm going to break down for you what the best diet is for women over 40 and some of the diets I don't recommend for women over 40. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping women over the age of 40 get in shape through diet and exercise. Have you gained a ton of weight in your 40s and your 50s? Well that happened to me and that's why I want to break it down for you in a really simple way how you can diet when you're over the age of 40 and over over the age of 50. In this video I'm going to cover the diets that I don't work and then how you can put together a diet plan that will work. It's such a struggle isn't it? Work out what diet you should be doing these days. There's so much information isn't there that we're bombarded with. The problem with that is that the diet industry is a multi-million pound industry and so what happens is we get lots of conflicting information about what the best diet is but it's actually pretty straightforward. The problem is that the diet industry earn more money out of us if we're actually not successful in dieting because what happens is we have to keep going back to buy more and more products and services don't we and so for them if we're not successful that's actually a good thing because it means that we're spending more money so that's why I believe a lot of the diets that are around on the market for women just don't work it's not in these companies interest for it to work there's lots of fads with diets some of the diets that I wouldn't recommend for you are number one quick fix diet so when I talk about quick fix diets what I mean is things like juicing diets or you're replacing your meals with shakes and what you're doing is dropping a substantial amount of weight in a really short period of time some of them claim 20 pounds in seven days that kind of thing and what happens with those diets generally when you're losing a large amount of weight in a really short space of time is actually not body fat it's water weight anyway if you do manage to drop some body fat what will happen is when you come off that diet you will put all the weight back on and some so that's the problem with that because it just really screws your metabolism and even diets where you're dropping really low in calories so when I say low in calories I mean anything under 1300 is just way too low and again what happens with that is when you go back to normal eating you gain the weight again and then um, there are also fashions for diets aren't there and the two things that seem to be really popular and I get asked a lot of questions about these two diets so I want to cover it really briefly in this video and that's the keto diet is one of them and intermittent fasting so I'm going to cover the keto diet I don't agree with the keto diet at all I don't believe it works I'll probably get lots of comments in the comments section saying it worked for me and that's great if it works for you but the reason I don't believe in it is because it's cutting out a whole food group in terms of carbohydrates and actually you know what we need to do is have a balanced diet with a healthy approach to food which means that we still eat some of the foods we enjoy and if you're cutting out a whole food group it's the same as with any other fad diet when you actually go back to a normal diet you are just going to gain the weight again and put more weight on than you had before and that's what I've seen happening with the ketogenic diet so the keto diet is basically you're putting your body into ketosis by cutting your carbohydrates really really low and that forces your body to burn more fat which is great at the time so it works perfectly well and that's why I get a lot of comments saying oh well it really works but most of the people that comment that say it really works are actually overweight and what they're doing is yo-yo dieting between keto and they're not doing keto so it works while you're doing keto but what we want to do what we all want to do is lose weight and keep it off for good because I really believe in strength training as a way of women over 40 losing 
losing weight. Keto doesn't really go with strength training because we need carbohydrates to work out to do our strength training before we work out and then again we need carbohydrates and protein after we work out and if we're doing a ketogenic diet we're not going to have enough carbs in our system to be able to do the strength training and sort of build muscle. I wouldn't recommend that you start on something that you can't do for the rest of your life and can you do keto for the rest of your life? Maybe a small number of people can do it, but most people can't, can they? Because when you go to an event or something like that, you want to eat the same as everybody else. And then you start eating carbohydrate and you've kicked yourself out of ketosis. The other thing that I get asked a lot about is intermittent fasting. And I did intermittent fasting for 18 months. I've done a separate video on this and I will link it in the description. It's got a lot of support hasn't it intermittent fasting it didn't work for me I don't believe it's a good idea for women over 40 because of our hormones if you're actually fasting for long periods of time you can overeat and that can cause problems in terms of binge eating when you do get to eat if it's a way of kind of managing your calorie intake yes by all means do it but it's not this sort of magic pill that will help you miraculously burn fat it just doesn't doesn't work like that and I know I did it for 18 months and it didn't actually work and when I switched to five or six meals a day that's when it didn't work now that's my own experience but actually when I talk to other women in my age group they say exactly the same thing and there's no evidence to support through the studies that have been carried out that intermittent fasting actually works for women over 40 I'm talking about and also it puts a stress on a hormone called kisspeptin and kisspeptin is a reproductive hormone and you know you all know what's going on with our hormones at the moment in our 40s and 50s I'm going through the menopause you know some of you watching this will be going through the menopause so we don't want to be putting any stress on our reproductive hormones so I definitely wouldn't recommend intermittent fasting let's go to the positive now let's move on to what we actually should be doing Doing in diet and it's pretty straightforward when you break it down it's about being in a calorie deficit if you want to lose weight so what we need to be doing is expending or burning more calories than we're consuming it's as simple as that and that's what you need to do now I'm going to start to break down the different food groups now which are macronutrients and what you should be doing with those it's as simple as that calories in versus calories out if you're starting that's the first place to look and you can download an app like my fitness pal and start tracking your calories and looking at how much you're consuming and you might be surprised when you actually start weighing out food and tracking what you're eating you're probably eating more than you think you're eating so that's the first thing tracking your calories then when we start to get a bit cleverer about it when you started to sort of adjust to that what we can do is start to look at things like our macronutrients our protein carbohydrate and fat intake and what the recommendation is is to take your protein high because it's going to do two things it's going to help you burn calories more effectively and it's going to keep you satiated i mean one gram of protein for every pound in body weight so if you weigh 140 pounds you should be doing 140 grams in protein and again you can do this on my fitness pal then you've got your carbohydrates and I would recommend depending on your level of activity anything between 100 grams of carbohydrates that would be the minimum really to sort of 250 grams of carbohydrates so I'm probably doing between 200 50 and 300 grams of carbohydrates because I'm on maintenance. Carbohydrates I look to first a bit things like potatoes, rice and oats but you know you can do pasta and you can do bread but it's a bit easier to overeat on those so you do have to watch out for those you know because once you have a little bit sometimes you want more whereas things like potato that it's far more satiating that could be sweet potato or it could be white potato 
And then you've got fats. Because we're looking at our overall health, we want to go for good fats. So I'm talking about avocados, nuts, olive oil is absolutely great, oily fish, nuts, nut butter, MCT oil, coconut oil, and a lot of those oils that I've described, they're really important for women and menopausal women, women over the age of 40, because fats help us balance our hormones. So it's really important that we have good fats in our diet. And actually, we need more fats than men do. You know, I would recommend about 50 grams. And with all the food I've described, I know a lot of fitness influencers and dietitians say they don't want to talk about good food and bad food. But I would really recommend at our time in life, a lot of us are going through the menopause, our hormones are depleting, that we actually have a whole foods diet, which means plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables. I've talked about the protein. Try and go for like lean protein, like chicken fish, tofu, eggs, those kinds of things, although eggs have got fats in, but again, they're good fats. With no processed food, try and reduce your sugar intake, and you're actually going to feel much better for it, and you're going to get some health benefits, which is really important when we're older. For me, I don't know about you, but I'm not just looking to sort of keep my weight off. I actually want to feel good, and I want the right foods in my body, that my skin's healthy, my hair's healthy, healthy and my goal is for long-term health so eating a healthy whole foods diet would really help you with that I'm going to link a video below where I did a lot more detail in calculating calories and macros. And then I'll also link a free meal plan that you can download so you can get an idea and how you spread that out through your meals through the day. I hope that would really help you. And if you like this video, please do give it the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get the bell notifications so you get notified straight away when a new video comes out and do give me a follow on Instagram and I'm now on TikTok and if there's any other videos that you would like me to cover please do put it in the comments section below and you know if you want to see this meal plan in action I'd be really happy to do another what I eat in a day I've done quite a few what I eat in a day but you know if you want to see another one I'm happy to do another one because it might give you ideas on the kinds of foods you could be cooking and eating.